Hello everyone, this is Sharif Abuzid again here with a quick video for you. And today I want to show you how you can add a table of content inside every single post of your website. And adding a table of content is an important feature because it will improve the experience of your articles readers. For example, if someone has just opened this article, now they will have a quick look for all the sections of your article and if they want to read a certain part or section of this article they will just click the title of this section and they will be moved to this section specifically and of course this will improve the experience of your readers not only this but adding this functionality to all of your articles improves actually your search engine optimization of efforts or what's called SEO because if you are improving the experience of your article readers Google and other search engines uh, will have a reason to improve the rankings of your articles and blog posts so it is important that to add this table of content inside every single uh, post of your articles and this is my job in this video to show you how you can do this in two days in two ways actually i'm going to show you how you can add this table of content in two ways so let's get started now first let me show you how you can insert a table of content inside any of your blog posts so for example if i like to add a table of content for this silver tips for coaches article i can simply uh, click edit post and inside the post itself in any place here for example if i like to add the table of content here i can just choose to add a block and search for table of content this will be our table of content widget and automatically it will add a table of content of course i can style it to whatever i want for example i don't want to show the h6 5 and 4 so i would switch, switch this um, them off from here and for the style tab under the container settings i will add a background color of this if i want to remove the underline of the you know the headings themselves i can do this inside the list settings i will choose no underline this is how my blog post will look like maybe if i want to add a box shadow again i will go to the container settings click here this will add this box shadow now let's click update and let's view the post and here we go we have our table of content with our nice looking box shadow inside this blog post however if we open any other uh, blog post let's say that i will open this one and this one i don't have the table of content inside these blog posts because because i have manually inserted the um uh, the table of content inside this blog post but there is another way that will enable you to add your table of content across all of your website articles just like that with one option only which is cadence elements so let's go to our dashboard here and let's go to plugins install plugins you'll find that i have already installed the cadence pro or premium add-on as my premium add-on for cadence this will expand the capabilities of our cadence theme and this is the plugin that i am referring to now we need to activate what's called the hook the elements which is a premium feature let's go to appearance cadence and make sure that you are activating the hook the elements feature and this is the hooked elements feature i mean let's click customize to add a new hooked element and let's click to add a new one and for the element type setup we need to choose content section and let's call this like 2c table of content and here we can just add a table of content this is the table of content if we want to switch off the h uh, four five and six and for the style i will just uh, you know for the background i will make sure this is my color and i will choose the box shadow for the listings i will choose this to be no underline and then i click publish but before i do this i want to uh, tell cadence where do i want to show this table of content i will go to element settings for the placement here you need to choose either you want to add it 
after or before all content or maybe after the first paragraph let's go here first after the first paragraph this is usually what i do i would just show the table of content after the first paragraph this is for the placement and then i will choose to um, display this element only inside the single posts and for all the users of the website and then i will click publish and then if we go to any blog post or article inside our website and we click refresh you'll find the table of content now is added inside this article as well if we go to our blog page and let's open any type of articles let's open this one for example and let's open this one and let's open this one as well you'll find the table of content is added just after the first paragraph inside all of these um, blog posts let's click refresh here and this is now our table of content you'll find it again here inside each and every blog post article so now you have two ways to add this table of content the first one which is um, the free way where you can add the table of content widget inside each and every blog post the second one is the paid one using the cadence hook the elements this is a premium feature of cadence you need to have the paid version or copy of cadence you can just simply buy it from the cadence theme website or you can use my affiliate link down below so that's it now you can start adding your table of content across all of your blog posts hopefully you find this video helpful if you like it please give me a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel now thanks so much and see you in the next video